Hi guys movie story recaps here. Today I'm going to show you a mystery thriller movie called Sleeping with the Enemy. The movie starts with a girl sitting on a seashore and she is looking for seashells. A man named Martin comes to him and sits near her. Laura tells Martin that she loves the clothes he was wearing and Martin mentions the business meeting he recently attended. He afterwards apologizes about what happened between them earlier but Laura doesn't say anything. Martin is Laura's husband and before he leaves, he kisses Laura's hand and hugs her. They both live near the seashore together. They have to go to a party tonight and Laura gets ready wearing a white dress. Martin likes the dress, but he expected that she would wear black. Next we see that Laura is wearing the same black dress that Martin wanted her to wear. Laura can be seen talking to some people but Martin calls her and tells her that they were about to leave for home and they had enough social gathering for the whole season. They both go home and the next morning Laura can be seen sitting alone on the terrace. Martin comes to her and grabs her to the bathroom, where he shows her the hand towels. They are no in order and Laura apologizes for the mistake. Martin forgives her very easily and goes out on the beach without Laura, where he sees a man doing something on his boat near the shore. That man is actually a doctor and he is the new neighbor of Martin and he compliments his house. The doctor asks him about the lady who often sits on the terrace and stares at the sea, while Martin tells her that she is her wife. The doctor afterwards invites her for a ride on his boat along with his wife. He afterwards comes home and asks his wife about the doctor. Laura says that she doesn't know any doctor and no one came after he left for the meeting yesterday. He slaps Laura and kicks her several times. Martin is a very cruel person who tortures his wife mentally, physically, and emotionally. Laura has a very bad habit of overthinking and she thinks about small things for several hours. He does the same thing. He beats his wife up and apologizes for what he has done. He now asks his wife whether she will go with him to the ride on which the doctor has invited. He leaves for town and comes back with flowers and gifts for his wife, which is a way to apologize for what he has done to his wife. He afterwards physically harasses his wife and Laura is completely against the idea of going physical after his husband just beat her up. She has to keep things in control so that Martin doesn't know that her wife doesn't want any sort of physical attraction between them. They both afterwards go to the ride on which the doctor had invited them to, and surprisingly a storm comes there as well. Their boat goes out of their control and Martin falls off of it. The doctor catches Martin and pulls him back on the boat. He comes back on the boat but cannot find Laura upon which he screams at his full strength. He shouts at Laura but cannot find her. Martin also tells the doctor that Laura cannot swim but makes both of them more worried about her. He takes patrol boats and tries to find Laura but still has no luck so far. Martin afterwards comes home, and he is worried about Laura, because he wants Laura back in his life at any cost, but when they have no trace of Laura, everyone knows that she has been buried by the massive waves of the ocean. Every friend and relative of Laura performs her funeral the very next day, but the truth is that she had not died on that day. She feared water from the start, but he had learned how to swim without telling her husband. When the doctor was pulling Martin on the boat, Laura saw the chance, and she jumped into the water escaping from her dreadful day of dreams. When the doctor and Martin were shouting and trying to find Laura, she came back home and took some money she was hiding from Martin. She also cuts her hair and takes some clothes after doing the most important thing which is flushing her wedding ring. Everyone thinks that Laura has died, but she has started a new life and moved to a completely new city. She has bought a new home and met a new boy named Ben. They both start to know each other and on the we see Martin who is very upset about the death of his wife and one day he gets a call from one of Laura's friends. He gets the call from the lady from her swim classes and she unintentionally tells him that Laura became a very good swimmer with the passage of time. After the call Martin begins to have doubts in his mind about Laura's death. He goes back to his previous house in which he used to live with Laura and searches the whole house. He cannot find anything. He gets a cut from something and goes to the bathroom to wash that up where he sees his wedding ring in the toilet. He knows that Laura is alive now and gets furious when he comes to know about that. He goes to Laura's mother's place who lives in a care center, because she was completely blind. He tells the manager of the care center that he has to inform her mother about Laura's death in order to find some clue about Laura. He asks the manager that someone would come to visit her mother's grave upon which the manager tells him that her mother was still alive. Martin now knows that Laura had been planning this escape for a very long time. He now has to find Laura at any cost and that is the reason why he hires a detective agency to find Laura. He also tells them that Laura took her mother out of the care center six months ago, and she came back home after two days. It means that her mother's location is somewhere which is not far from their house, and it takes two days to get there. 
he offers a very big price to the detective for finding Laura, and on the other hand we see that Ben has started to like Laura and they are starting to spend time together more often. He confesses his love to Laura, but is completely broken, so she rejects him. They still stay friends and hang out for a very long time. They spend a lot of time together, and one night they get out of their control and start kissing each other. Laura has changed her name, after coming to the new city as well, but she cannot forget her past. She suddenly remembers how Martin used to beat him up, and how miserable her life really was. She sends Ben away, because she cannot let him know her past. The very next day she goes to Ben, and tells every single thing about her past, and how her husband used to beat her up. They are close to each other, and Ben doesn't leave her for deceiving him. On the other hand we see, that Martin has successfully found Laura's mother. Ben and Laura are now planning to meet her mother and Ben changes Laura's look as he is a makeup artist, and a drama teacher as well. He makes her a boy, and she goes to see her mother. Laura successfully meets her mother. Her mother touches her, and feels her mustache. She suspects that something is wrong upon which Laura tells everything about Martin, and what he did to her. We see that Martin has also reached the same hospital, and when Laura has come out to buy something, Martin is also there, but they don't see each other, and Laura goes to her mother's room. Martin also barges into the room, but Laura's mother is sitting there alone. She thinks that someone from the staff has come there. As soon as he closes the door of the room, Laura comes out of the bathroom, and she doesn't face him this time either. After coming out of the room, Laura stops at a place, where she drinks water and Martin is standing right behind her waiting for his own turn to drink. This time they don't face each other either. Both of them head out of the hospital, but Martin is stopped by a lady who is sitting at the reception. She tells him that no one came to visit her mother for six months, but today someone did come to visit her. He asks whether it was a girl, but according to the receptionist, it was a male. She also tells him that the person just went out of the hospital upon which he runs after her, but luckily she escaped before he could find her. He suspects that there was no one else but Laura herself in the jetup of a man. The next day Martin comes to Laura's mother and asks her about the person who came to visit her as a police officer. She tells her that her nephew came to see her as she cannot see Martin again who is asking the question. He further tells her that Laura's husband was seen in the hospital recently and Laura's life could be in danger. Her mother gets scared and now she asks him to protect her daughter as her husband Martin is a very dangerous man. He afterwards go to the school where Ben teaches. He points a gun at a drama teacher and asks for her wife, but he has pointed the gun at the wrong man. That man tells him that he doesn't know about his wife and there were several drama teachers in the school. He also mentions that he is gay and he lives with a man so he couldn't possibly be related to his wife. He goes inside the school and sees Ben teaching drama there as well. When he ends the class, he goes out and Martin follows him. He goes to a crowded place, where Laura is waiting for him. After a while Ben comes and she enjoys her dinner with Ben, but when she comes back in her house to play some music, she hears the same song that Martin used to listen to. After a while she sees that the bathtub is also full of water which takes a mistake of herself. She comes out of the bathroom and sees the other set of towels is also in the same procedure and order in which Martin used to place them. She now knows that this cannot be a coincidence, and slowly moves towards the kitchen where she sees that before her dinner, the shelf was fussy, and now every single thing is in order. She starts crying as she knows that Martin is in the house. She gets scared and starts to run towards the door when a voice of Martin stops her, and he is standing right behind her. He appreciates the game Laura has played all along, but suddenly their door knocks. It's Ben on the door. Martin warns Laura that if she tells anything about the condition she is in, he will kill Ben. She tells him that she is tired and she will meet him again next week. Ben suspects that something is wrong with her because of her facial expressions, and he comes through the door attacking Martin. They both struggle for a while, but Martin is stronger than him, and he hits Ben several times due to which he faints and falls down on the floor. He then hugs Laura and starts to dance, after which he shows her the ring he found in the toilet. Laura kicks Martin which causes him to drop his gun, and Laura picks it up, she points the gun at Martin and tells him to go away or she will call the police, but Martin will not go away that easily. Ho tells her that he has a right to be with her as she is his wife, and no one can stop them from being together. Laura doesn't listen to him and picks her phone up, she calls the police and tells them that she had an intruder and she killed the intruder. After telling the police the details, she shoots Martin thrice and he falls on the floor. She starts crying afterwards as well, but Martin has not died yet. He grabs Laura from her hair and shoots her, but luckily it doesn't have any bullets. She goes and picks up Ben, hugs her and on the other side we see Martin's body and the same wedding ring he gave to Laura on the wedding. The movie ends here. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, and don't forget to turn on your notification to help the channel out.